Yo guys and welcome back to another episode of our Arsenal career. Hope you guys are having a great day or a great night, whatever time it is. And remember, if you're not subscribed, please hit that subscribe button. And if you enjoy this video, please give it a thumbs up. It would really mean a lot to me. So let's get into this video. As you can see, we are away at West Brom. We are going to the Hawthorns and a tough place to go. I'm not sure where they are in the table, but well... That just popped up, so they must be fighting relegation pretty heavy. They have the worst defence in the Premier League. So, they've got Gomez on the bench, Lambert. They've got, they've got Rondon. They've got, they've got a good... They've got some good attacking players. So, but their defence is just... You saw the defence. It was a pretty appalling defence. And the team we have set out is in front of you. So you can look at that and let's get into this game. We go into the ninth minute. We've got Verratti on the ball. A nice run here. He's gone past two players. Skips past the second there. And he's still, go he's still going. He's waiting for a run. And he's got Ozil on the ball. And Myhill makes a decent save there from an Ozil shot. And it comes out to Ramsey. The danger is not cleared. Comes back to Verratti. And, and Bolo and Myhill again. My hill again and Sandro clears it out and it's going to go out for a throw in there and wow. A save from Ozil and then a save from an Mbolo shot. And here we go on the attack again we've got Mbolo. He's going to find Verratti. Dummy shot and he's passed him. He's going to pull it in and Mbolo surely it's got to be 1-0 and Myhill My hill with another save. My hill with another save man what? How, the, how is this? It should be at least we should have at least one goal out of them situations. But here we go on the attack again. Six minutes later, bit of a bad pass there, but Schurler gets it and okay. don't know what the hell happened there. The ball was like ping pong. I think Urzil got a header, gets blocked, and it comes to Mbolo, and he gets a shot away, and it gets blocked by the same defender. I think it was Chester who gets two blocks in within a se a second of each other. But there is. The half-time whistle, and we should be at least 1-0 up. We should have at least one goal, but we go in to the break and into the second half, all level, nil-nil. But here we go, Schurler on a decent run here. He plays it to his left-hand side, and Bolo, is he going to put a cross in? No, he's going to cut back. He plays it to Verratti on the edge of the box. No, Ramsey, sorry. And Bale with a great turn. Surely it's got to be 1-0. No, Myhill pulls off. He's... Well, Gareth Bale slipped as he had a shot, but Myhill with a great save there. Look at that. What was that? Off his elbow or something. That is just ridiculous. Myhill keeping West Brom in this game. Should be at least one up. But we've got Sherlock. Great ball into Ozil. And Myhill again with great goalkeeping there. Coming out like so quick. And here we go. We've got West Brom on the attack. And they're putting a cross and Rodriguez... Headers that away so Rondon cannot get a head away at goal, which is pretty much his strongest attribute, to be honest. But here we go. We're going to make some subs. Awobi, Lagazette, and Bellarabi coming on. Three very, very good and quick subs. But here we go. We've got Varane on the ball. Plays it up to Bellarabi, I believe that is. Oh, and he's being too clever there. Sandro is still going on his left foot. And Czech pulls off a huge save with 10 minutes to go. That would have been a killer blow to go 1-0 down considering we have been dominating this game. Here we go. McLean, Morrison and Lambert with a shot but straight at the keeper, thank God. Because that was a powerful shot. Either side of the goalie, that would have been 1-0 to West Brom. But here we go. Bellarabi and he gets skips over that tackle. We've got Mbolo. No, Lagazette. And it gets deflected onto Chester and into the back of the net in injury time. And we go 1-0 up. What a weird goal. What a weird goal. Got Bellarabi skips over the over the over the tackle. And it wasn't it didn't even look like a shot. I don't even know if I did shoot or cross it. Just stretched out left foot and comes off Chester and into the back of the net. I mean, my heel at save after save after save and sometimes you need that bit of luck to beat the goalkeeper. That is seeming well seemingly unbeatable <laughs> uh, 
and we get that bit of luck off Chester and lags it. I'm not sure, I think it was a Chester own. I don't know if it went down as a Chester own goal. You know what FIFA's like. Sometimes them sort of goals actually do go down. No, see, it's gone as a Lagazette goal. I don't even think it was going on target, which is completely weird. But we win the game. We get three points. And let's get in to the Capital One Cup final. Wembley Stadium, Arsenal, Manchester United. I used to love these games back in the day with Patrick Vieira, Roy Keane, Perez, Burkamp, Keown. All them sort of players. I used to love these sort of games. They've died down a bit recently over the years. Well, all derbies have recently, to be honest. But over the last 10 years or so. But here we go. We've got the final coming up. Capital One Cup. Can we? They've got, they got the man up front. They've got Rooney in central mid. And they've got Lewandowski up front. £52.5 million. Pound. And here we go. We've got Man Matter on the ball. And he gets nicked by Gnabry. And he plays through. And Bolo, surely it's got to be 1 0. He's 1 on 1 with David De Gea. And he's made it 1 0. We go 1 0 up in the fifth minute in the Capital One Cup final. And Bolo, who, as I've said in the, quite a few, about two of the, about two, three previous episodes of our Arsenal career, I've said M Bolo is in great form. And he puts us 1 0 up. With a decent, decent finish past David De Gea. And there we go. We're going to the 16th minute. Luke Shaw losing out. Their players are not, not on the ball at the minute. But Herrera wins that. Gives it to Carrick. Herrera and he puts a great, great ball into Nico Gaetan. He's through. And Butler makes a save. And Gibbs is there on the line. But he cannot get it off the line. And it is 1-1. Nico Gaetan. If that's how he says his name. Like I say, I always say it. But... Kieran Gibbs just cannot get that off the line and it goes down. See, that goes down as an own goal, but Lagazette's one against West Brom goes down as his goal and not a Chester own goal, which is weird. FIFA really need to sort that out. But here we go, Gaitan on the ball again, and I could not deal with him all game. He was so good down this left-hand side, and Lewandowski gets a header towards goal, but Butland, Butland pulls off a brilliant save at his near post there. Let's look at this header from this great angle. Look at that. Probably just sneaking in in that near post. But Butland gets a strong hand on it. And it gets Smalling, gets a header. And Smalling makes it 2-1 within 26 minutes. We had a great start. But since, that, since our opening goal in the fifth minute, I think it was the fifth or sixth minute, Manchester United have just improved so, so much. And it was a perfectly placed header between the player and the cross. Look at that. Coquelin just cannot get his head on that. And we go into the 42nd minute trying to get a goal back. But Man United, here we go. Gaetan on the ball yet again. Is he going to whip in another cross? He is. And Holden is there to take that away from Lewandowski. I mean, there is the half-time whistle. We go... In to half time, 2 1 down in the final. We're looking to retain our Capital One. We're looking to retain every bit of silverware. So far, we played champion. Well, the Community Shield we lost. But anyway, let's talk about that in a minute. We're going to make some subs. Scherler is coming on and Iwobi is coming on at half time. But we go, nothing really happened. Man United were just keeping the ball. But here we go into the 75th minute. We've got Scherler. On the ball, he's going to have a shot in the ears, but it goes well past the post. And as I was saying, we're looking to retain everything. We've also, we've lost the Community Shield so far. And the Capital One Cup is not looking so strong right now, is it? We've got 15 minutes remaining and we're 2-1 down. And not playing too great, to be honest. Man United didn't play too great either, but here we go. Rooney, Herrera, back to Rooney. First time effort from range and just over the bar there. Rooney with... Nearly a spectacular goal. But here we go. 80th minute. We're going to go on the attack. Try and get an equalising goal. To take this to extra time. And Awobi. And it gets blocked. David Hare comes out. Gathers that easily. And he's going to boot it out. Up to Lewandowski is it. And goes straight through to Holding. Here we go. We're going to try and get a goal here. Awobi on the ball. In to Chambers. Down in to Scherler. Awobi. Oh no, no, and Bolo gets a shot away, but a decent save comes out to a Wobi here. And he's still going. Is he going to get a shot away? Plays it in the middle to Andre Scherler. 
And Bolo, dummy shot. Surely it's got to be a goal. No, five minutes remaining. David De Gea. And there is the full time whistle. I mean, the last 10, 15 minutes or so, we we could have got a goal. But a Gibbs own goal, which was very unlucky. Butler made a save, but I think it went through his legs and bounced basically over the goal line. And Gibbs just couldn't keep it off and just couldn't keep it out. And Smalling with a very, very good header. And... I'm not sure if you could say they deserved it. I'm not sure you could say we deserved it. It was a pretty dull final to be honest. But sometimes that's how they go. And sometimes they go for you. And sometimes they go against you. And this time it's gone against us. And we've lost a community shield. Which isn't a big trophy. But we still lost it. and Which we won last season. And now we have not retained the Capital One Cup. Schweinsteiger lifting the trophy there. I don't really like watching this, but I thought I'd pull it in for you guys. <laughs> Normally I just skip, 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 skip onto the next game, but we'll pull it in. We'll watch Man United. We'll be sportsmanship and watch Man United celebrate with the trophy. But you know what? Let's let's forget about that and let's get into a Premier League game coming up on a Thursday, and we're at home to Aston Villa. So let's try and forget about that final and get three points against Aston Villa. So let's get into this game. And here we go at home to Aston Villa. Like I said, we've got to forget about that cup final defeat. And we've got to try and get three points against Aston Villa here. Here is our team. We've got Butland, Bellerin, Chambers, Holding, Rodriguez, Coquelin, Camacho, Mares, Loftus Sheik, Wobi, and Mbolo. As you can see, I haven't gone for my first strongest team. And that is because this game is on a Thursday and on a Saturday, so it's a one day break, Saturday we have a game against Manchester City. So I wanted my strongest possible team fully fit for that Manchester City game because we're coming to the end of the season and we really need to be picking up points and going for that title. But here we go into this Aston Villa game. We've got Loftus-Cheek. Rodriguez with a shot from range and it hits the crossbar. Keeper was scrambling there and hits the crossbar. What a strike from Rodriguez here. But it's not. The danger is not away. A Wobi and the keeper makes a decent save. I don't know who that is but he's made a decent save there. And from the corner comes out Rodriguez. Chambers gets tackled but it comes to Camacho and... A simple save straight down the keeper's throat there. And a decent start for us. We need to pick up three points here. Coquelin, Mares, and he gets, he gets dragged back there. No no arguing with that. No arguing with that. We get a free kick in a pretty decent position. We're going to have Rodriguez on it. And we're going to try and curl this into the top corner. So here we go. Oh. Rodriguez nearly into that top corner. I don't know if the keeper knew that was going wide, but he didn't seem to move an awful lot towards the ball there. So he must have knew that was going wide. But here we go, Mbolo. Nice bit of play. Loftus-Cheek into Camacho. And just past the post there. The keeper dived to get it. Let's see how close this really was. And keeper probably would have had that covered, to be honest. But a decent strike from Camacho. And here we go, 33rd minute. Loftus cheek, Camacho, nice bit of play here. Mbolo out to a Wobi. A nice bit of play on his left foot. Across the keeper and he hits the post and Richards gets it out. And what a header. That I like that little header there, but we hit the post with a Wobi. Come on now, we're not one it up. A nice bit of play here from Mbolo. Skips past the tackle. Coquelin out to Mares. He's gonna cut back. A ball roll. And not on target. Should be on target there from Mares. I mean, he's better than that. But here we go from the goal kick. Gets it down the field. And Agbon Lahore here. And he gets it back. And he gets tripped there. He gets tripped. How is that a foul? Like the, That is the most pathetic foul here. But they get a cross in. And they get a header towards goal. And just before half time. They make it 1-0. They make it 1-0. It's just one of those ones that you just cannot defend. The player gets in front of the defender. Look at that. And he's just... Got a free header towards goal, basically. And I think his chambers there just cannot get in front of the player. And 
header it out. But after all that pressure, we hit the post. Keeper makes some good save. Well, we've hit the cross. We've hit the woodwork twice. Keeper's made some decent saves, and they go up with basically their real first attack. Well, it's not even an attack. It was a free kick, and they get a goal. But here we go. Holding gets that out from Agbon Lahore cross, and then Bolo lays that down to Loftus Cheek with a great little header. Loftus Cheek gives it to Mbolo, gets it back from Mbolo Loftus Cheek, and he's going to try a bit of skill here. Not known for his skill, but he's gotten better since he's come to us with a bit of training. And Iwobi, sorry, not Mbolo. Iwobi's on the ball, gives it out, and Camacho on his left foot, but not the best effort there from Camacho. No, we can do better than that. And we're going to make some sub. Well, I think we're going to make one sub. We put Awobi in the cam roll and Loftus Cheek off for Joe Campbell. Hopefully, that can make a difference. We're only 1 0 down. We only need one goal. And here we go. Awobi, a nice bit of skill there. Ball roll past one. Oh, the Aston Villa there. Aston Villa man there. A bit strong for Awobi, but he holds him off. And Bellerin back into Awobi. A touch and. Into the bottom corner in the 68th minute. Awobi makes it 1-1. Finally, we break through and get that goal. And what a decent goal that was. The young man there getting a goal. Another goal of the season. He's in decent form at the moment as well. Of the last three, four, maybe five games or so. He's been in good form. And Awobi's on the ball. And Camacho. And the keeper makes another save. Keeper makes another save. You're just one of these... Well, I've had quite a few of these games. I think everyone does on FIFA, but let's talk about that in a minute. We get a corner and a bit of a messy corner there. And it finally comes to Suzoko. Can't keep it out for another corner. A bit of messy there. I don't know what the hell happened. A couple of deflected hits on it. But here we go. Campbell and Gnabry. Is he going to have a shot? He's still going, running into the box. Surely it's got to be a shot on target, but hits it well past the post. I mean, that was dreadful. Here we go, into injury time. We've got Rodriguez, Coquelin. He's going to have a shot on his left foot. It gets blocked, and Richards headers it out, and Bellerin gets a little bit of a nudge there and gets a free kick in a similar sort of position. No, it wasn't a similar sort of position as Aston Villa's one, but we get Rodriguez. He's going to have Rodriguez over that free kick, and he gets the power, but I just don't think it got the curl. Let's take a look at this. Gets the power, but no, just it gets a little bit of curl on it, but not enough to take it into that corner. But here we go. We're going to play it onto the edge of the box. Coquelin over the crossbar. And that surely has got to be the last chance. The captain there gets a chance at the end of the game. And it ends 1-1. So not the best result, to be honest, especially with Man City coming up. They're doing very well at the minute. I believe they're in... Third or fourth, I'm not so sure. They're, I think they're jumping up and down with Spurs in third and fourth. So, But there it is. Awobi gets the equalising goal. And Aston Villa come away with a point, And we come away with not a good result, to be honest. We need to be getting three points on a regular basis. But let's forget about that. Let's go to the Etihad Stadium and... Let's get this game with Man City underway and hopefully, hopefully get a three points. Been on a bit of a weird run at the minute, but here you can see best away records. We have the best away record. We are unbeaten with 32 points on the road. So we're unbeaten. Got a decent team out here. They've got Griezmann up top. They've got Nasri on the bench. Ian Acho, Bonnie. Sterling on the bench, Jesus Christ, they've got some decent players to come off, off the bench and make a difference. But here's our team, obviously our strongest team, Gabriel at centre-back because he is our only, other than Varane, he is our only other centre-back with full energy. So I had to put him in, he hasn't played for a while, so let's see how he does and how he deals with this very good Manchester City team. But here we've got Bellarabi, puts it into Verratti and it comes out. Ooh, Joe Hart comes out with a punch there. A very vital punch, but the danger in away. And Ramsey on the ball. Ozil back heel to Verratti. Plays a nice ball out to Gareth Bale. Ball roll. Ooh, Clichy gets it, but it comes back to Gareth Bale somehow. And get a free kick. And it is in a very decent... And look at the little man in front. That could be very useful to Gareth Bale here. Is he going to put it over him? He does. And Joe Hart pulls off a magnificent save. 
Jesus Christ, let's look at this replay, look at this. Oh, what a save, man. What a save from Joe Hart. What a save. And to be honest, talking about Joe Hart, I really do hope he picks up his career at Torino. I really do, because he is a freaking amazing goalkeeper. He's just he's just lagged off over the last couple of years, because I think he's got a bit too big for his boots, because he's not had any real competition. But anyway, let's stop talking about that. Let's talk about this game. We have Sagner on the ball. Verratti all over him, and he wins it from him. And he's got movements out to the right-hand side. Ozil, ball roll. Is he going to cut back? He does. And he has a shot towards goal. And Joe Hart makes a save. He's in the way yet again to keep the score at nil-nil. Wow, better Rabi on the ball here. Plays it to Verratti. And Lagazette is on the ball and gets tackled. But it comes to Aaron Ramsey. And he plays it out to Ayor for a great bit of skill there. Cut back. And he plays it to Ramsey and... Pretty weak effort there from Aaron Ramsey and yeah, not really troubling Joe Hart there. But here we've got Sagnor on the ball and he plays it to Torre, Fernandinho. And this guy, I don't know how to pronounce his name. He gets a shot away towards goal and Joe Hart, pull, uh, Joe Hart, <laughs> is it Ab Abagay? Abagay? Abogay? Abagay? I'm not sure. If you know, I don't even, I've never heard of him. But Petr Cech pulls off a great save, goes out for a corner and he punches it out. Comes to company. Fernandinho. And that is the last action of the half. And it ends nil. Well, don't end nil nil. The first half ends nil nil. And keepers making some great saves. Especially uh, Petr Cech at the end of the first half there. From that little, that little fella. And here we go. Sagner on the ball. Puts in a cross to the far post. And... Gareth Bowers there to effectively put it out for a corner in the 52nd minute. Doing his defensive duties are very, very well there, Gareth Bowers. And here we've got Ramsey over the top. Is it going to come to Bow? It is. And he's still got it from Clichy. I don't know how. He's running into the box and he smashes out of Joe Hart. And it comes back into the box and company man mountain there just boots it away. And here we're going to make some subs. We're going to bring on a Wobi. And that is it. Just a Wobi. <laughs> Which is a pretty decent sub. He's in good form at the minute. Here he is on the ball. And we've got Bella Rabi. And Lagazette and Awobi is through. Surely it's got to be a shot on goal. And just past the post. Joe Hart. He dived to the right hand side. But let's see how close it was. I think Joe Hart had that covered to be honest. He, he was quite out his goal to narrow the angle. And he would have saved that if it was on target. But still a decent effort from Awobi there. And we're going to bring on... A couple of subs. They've brought on Bonnie, so they're really going for it for that little fella who I don't know. We brought on Mbolo and Andre Scherler, of course. And here we got Mbolo. Bale back to a Wobi. And I think I just said Mbolo instead of a Wobi there, but <laughs> my bad. But here we've got Griezmann on the ball. Seven minutes remaining. And Varan puts in a slide tackle, but he's not successful. Griezmann still had it. Clichy. Torre lost it to the back post and Gabriel puts out a, and he gets it out but it comes back to Kevin De Bruyne I don't even know what the hell happened there Kevin De Bruyne it finally drops to Kevin De Bruyne I mean Gabriel headers it out and I think it comes to Andre Scherler it's a bad touch and I think Bakary Sagner headers that back into the box and it drops very very nicely for Kevin De Bruyne and Petr check cannot do nothing about that and there is the final whistle we lose 1-0 after drawing 1-1 with Aston Villa so I mean if Chelsea have won if Chelsea are winning they have narrowed the points and they're going to be the lead is going to be so so close right now if if they have won that's as if they have won. I'm not so sure they did. But Kevin De Bruyne, they have an 86 minute winner. And here we go. We're going to look at the table. 29 games. And look at that. We have 67 points. Chelsea are in second with 65 points. And the goal difference is not too different. <laughs> Ours is plus 39. Theirs is plus 36. Man City are in third. They're creeping up. They are on 60 points. Spurs are in 4th with 57, and look at that, 5th, 6th, and 7th. 
Man United, Everton and Newcastle are all on 47 points. And let's look at the bottom. We've got Derby on the bottom. We've got West Brom, Burnley, West Watford, sorry, Bournemouth. And, well, four points separate 16th from bottom, which is insane. It is so close. Derby are probably my favourites to go down. I'm not, I'm not so sure who else is going to actually go down. But Stoke are having a decent season in 10th. Leicester in 8th. It's a pretty decent decent season for the, the lower league, not lower league teams, but smaller teams. But here we go. We've got, we got the round of 16 to kick off the next episode. We lost the first leg 1-0. We're away at West Brom in the, in the FA Cup quarter final. And then we'll have Sunderland and we'll have Newcastle away who are having a decent season as I just showed you in the league. I believe they're 7th seventh, seventh or 8th, not so sure, but... That is where I'm going to leave it in this episode, guys, and I hope you liked it. And if you did, please give it a thumbs up. I'd really appreciate it. So I hope to see you in the next episode, guys. Take care. Peace.